Hey there, in this video here we're going to take a look at the crop tool and I'm going to cover the hide option uh, using the crop tool. So I've got my image open here and you can see I'm on the background layer. So I haven't done anything to this image, I've just got my background layer open there. Um, I'm just going to select my crop tool now and you can use C on the keyboard to do that as well. Um, now if I come into select an area here um, and I uh, want to crop you know what I see there I can I can do that and up the top here I've had a number of number of people uh, email me and say hey you know I tried to uh, choose that height option but mine's grayed out and I don't know what to do I don't know how come um, I can't do that so um, I just want to show you how to get around that I'm just going to cancel the crop now um, now what I'm going to do is actually duplicate the or not duplicate I'm just going to double click on the background layer there just click on OK. So now this layer is not locked. It's just a floating layer. And now I'm going to select my crop tool now. And you can see I can click on hide. And what hide does, um, I've got my opacity right down there. What hide does now is it keeps all this cropped image um, so it doesn't actually completely delete it. So um, if I double click this now, it crops my image and all that surrounding image is uh, actually still there. So I can click on this layer now and see I can actually still move my image around. Um, and if I wanted to sort of get some of that back or, or whatever or expand my area that I was going to crop, I can, um, I can do that. Okay, and just... Uh, like so. So the key is not um, doing it on the background layer. So just double clicking it so it's a floating layer. And then you can use the crop tool and the hide option there. Um, once you've made a selection of what you want to crop, just click on hide. Um, if you click on delete, that will actually delete whatever is outside the area that you're cropping. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, what else is there with the crop tool that you need to worry about for now? Uh, I think I've covered this all in many other videos, uh, but if you're wanting to use a crop tool and you're wanting to crop to a s certain size, so let's say it's um, 10, 10 inches by 8 inches at 300 dpi or pixels per inch, I can set those parameters in there and I can crop that way. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of doing that. Um, maybe if you're just making final adjustments, that's fine. But personally, I prefer to resize the image. Image, resize. Get it as close as you can to the size that you want it in there. So if we're talking inches um, and we want to get it, uh, let's say, 8 there. So I know now I've just got to crop a little bit off the side. So I've got an 8 by 10. Um, I could set my resolution there as well. Um, so just going to enlarge that a bit, 300. Okay, so I know now, I just if I want an 8x10 print, I've just got to crop off a little bit. Then what I would do is actually then come up here in the crop tool and with my settings at 8x10, then I would crop it and just move it like so. And I know that I can just... Um, crop away then it's going to be a perfect 8x10 at 300 dpi uh, so that's the workflow that I would use in that regard uh, you can see that 8x10 300 dpi so I would size it correctly first before I crop it that way I've got total control of the interpolation methods which just means the way that the pixels um, uh, are interpreted or interpolated um, which is just a complicated term for making sure that it resizes and you're going to get the best image quality out of the image as possible. Anyway, that's a bit of a mouthful about cropping. Um, really, the idea of this video is just about the hide tool, uh, so you know how to use that now and work out you know, if you're not getting those options come up. And you got a little bonus there about um, resizing as well. Have a great day, and of course, uh, keep checking back the site as you know regular as you like. We've got lots of new content going on all the time now. Um, and if you've got any feedback, I'd love to hear from you. So leave any comments below, and I'll talk to you soon.